5 Most Expensive AI Female Robots in 2023 Number 5. Sophia Costs $120,000 David Hansen, who used to work for Disney Imagineering, made the social robot Sophia. The robot, which was partly inspired by Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's wife, was made to act like people and make people feel love and kindness. Sophia has become well known since her first show in 2016. The robot has done TV interviews, been on the cover of Elle magazine, been made fun of on HBO, and been named the United Nations' first non-human innovation champion. Saudi Arabia even gave Sophia citizenship at an event to promote a tech conference. This was an ironic move since Saudi women and migrant workers don't have many rights. Sophia may remind you of the self-aware robots in Ex Machina or Westworld, but no robot has yet hit artificial general intelligence or AGI or adaptable human-like intelligence. When talking to journalists, Sophia, like a robot, goes up and down trees of answers that have already been written. When she gives a speech, she acts like Abe Lincoln from the Hall of Presidents at Disney World. Due to Sophia's popularity, AI experts have said that the media has overstated what she can do. This is to AI what prestidigitation is to real magic, Facebook's chief AI scientist Jan Lee Kuhn joked in January 2018 in answer to a Tech Insider interview with the robot. Sophia's creators say that just the fact that she can show emotion is a big step forward. A report on Sophia's software says that the robot's deep neural networks let it figure out how someone is feeling based on their tone of voice and facial expression and act accordingly. Sophia can also copy people's movements and her software makes her face look like it's alive. Hansen has since been given a patent for Sophia's skin, which is made of a soft rubber. Sophia's creators say that just the fact that she can show emotion is a big step forward. A report on Sophia's software says that the robot's deep neural networks let it figure out how someone is feeling based on their tone of voice and facial expression and act accordingly. Sophia can also copy people's movements and her software makes her face look like it's alive. Hansen has since been given a patent for Sophia's skin, which is made of soft rubber. Number 4. Bina 48 costs $125,000. Bina 48 is a humanoid robot made by Hansen Robotics. It came out in 2010. It's made of a head and shoulders that look like a bust and are placed on a frame. Bina Aspen spent more than 100 hours putting together all of her memories, feelings, and ideals to make Bina 48. Bina 48 is part of a project that aims to prove two terrorism hypotheses. One, that a conscious copy of a person can be made by putting together enough information about the person, a mind file. And two, that such a conscious copy can be downloaded into a non-biological substrate. Bina 48 will also go to the University of Arizona with the Space Plus 5 crew to learn about things like zero gravity flying, spacecraft, and getting out of a spacesuit. These steps will help figure out the future of using robots with artificial intelligence on space trips with humans. One day, Blue Origin will send the Space Plus 5 team to space. The goal will focus on science, art, and doing good things for other people. Josh Haynes, CEO of Uplift Aerospace, says, It's important to realize that Bina 48 joining the Space 5 astronaut class is both historically and symbolically important. Bina 48 was one of the first breakthroughs in neural architecture, and the fact that she was the first artificial intelligence to join our astronaut training shows that she has a place in history. Number 3. Nadine Costs $450,000 Scientists have made a robot that can tell your name and remember it the next time it sees you. Another thing that makes Nadine different from the other robots is that she can talk. Nadine has a personality, according to the people who made her. Researchers at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University say that Nadine was made to have feelings and moods. The robot was made to be happy or sad depending on what was said. So, Nadine was made to understand and react to certain words and phrases. The humanoid robot, which is run by AI software like Apple's Siri or Microsoft's Cortana, is meant to work as a receptionist, greeting guests, shaking their hands, and looking them in the eyes while talking. Ezra Gatil, an analyst at Technology Business Research, said that the robotics industry has been moving toward humanoid robotics helpers, but he doesn't want his own Nadine. He called Nadine creepy over and over again. 
Godile said, It's creepy because it looks like a cross between a human and an animal. It's one thing to be a program that only listens to certain words or phrases. It's a whole different thing to act normal. We're nowhere near the point where we can't tell if a robot's a machine or a person. And if we haven't gotten there yet, trying to be human will be confusing. Number 2. Erica Costs $500,000 In Japan, a lifelike robot is being taught to laugh when it hears a human laugh. Erica, the robot, can tell when someone is smiling, decide if she should laugh back, and then respond with either a quiet chuckle or a loud giggle. The study, which was just published in the journal Frontiers in Robotics and AI, was done on a humanoid robot with a synthesized human voice that can blink and move its eyes while talking to people. If the idea of a robot laughing maniacally at your joke scares you, that's because it is, but scientists think it will help them make AI systems with more compassion. When you think of robots today, you probably think of them doing hard jobs like stacking big boxes in a warehouse, picking veggies on a vertical farm, or even unclogging your pipes. But since the market for home robots is projected to reach $19 billion by 2027, more complex robots that can feel emotions have come onto the scene. LEQ, for example, is meant to help older people who were lonely, and the people who made Ollie say it can get people with Alzheimer's or dementia excited. It was also important for Erica to have sympathy. One of the study's authors, Divesh Lala, says that laughter is one way that we show how we feel or how we feel about a scenario. Studies have shown that when people copy what another person is doing, they become closer to each other. This is called mirroring. In this case, Erica was taught to laugh like a person so she could connect with them. The robot was first controlled from a distance by four female actresses. The researchers listened to over 80 talks between male college students and the robot. Then the talks were analyzed and the different kinds of laughter were put into two groups. Social laughter, like when you laugh to be polite or because you're embarrassed, and merriment laughter, like when your best friend makes a great joke. Number 1. Gia Gia Costs $1.5 Million Meet Gia Gia, the most human-like robot in China. Have you ever seen something that looked so much like a person that it made you feel sick? You know that it isn't a real person, even though it looks and acts like one? You're about to if you haven't already. The Chinese University of Science and Technology just made a humanoid robot that looks so much like a real person that it walks the thin line in the uncanny valley between being familiar and being creepy. Her name is Jia Jia, and she has a lot of different traits. She can talk straight to people and answer their questions. She can use micro-expressions to answer questions or act on things. During the news conference, someone in the crowd tried to take a picture of her. Don't get too close to me when you're taking pictures, she said. It'll make my face look swollen. Gia Gia is also different from the models that came before her because her eyes can move easily around the room and her lip movements are almost perfectly timed with what she says. The team worked on the project for three years to finish it and turn Gia Gia into the robot woman she is now. The team wants to fix and improve some of the specs of the newer model, which could be called Gia Gia 2.0. They want her hands to look less stiff and more like they can move. She also can't cry or laugh, which is something the team hopes to add in the next model. They also want Gia Gia to respond to people and have a closer relationship with them. She's considered a priceless idea, so there are no plans to make a lot of her right now. But in the not-too-distant future, we may be able to interact closely with lifelike robots. Thanks for watching this video.